I could be talking about what happened to Mr. Craig and Mr. Mullins and Ms. Munn here in this case that we're discussing today in 2012 in the Masterpiece case. But what I'm actually describing is what happened to three African American consumers in 1964 in the Newman versus Piggy Park case. There too, there was a small business owner who was later described to be an artist. He had a very special type of food, it happened to be barbecue, that he served. Uh, he too had uh, religious beliefs, whatever we might think of them now, that were uh, undoubtedly firmly held. He believed that contributing to racial intermixing in any way, uh, quote, contravened the will of God. That's what he believed. Uh, and so he, when a, a black customer who happened to be a Baptist minister walked into the store, he stood in the doorway and turned them away. And then later, when two other cust African-American customers came in and tried to purchase products, he said, well, you can go around back and you can get the takeout food, but you can't have the food here. So he would offer them some of the products but not others. And I think this is a distinction that's already started to come up that's going to come up more. So I raise that example not just because I think the factual parallels are rather striking, uh, but also because I think the, the, legal, the, the legal precedent is highly relevant and forces us to see this case in a different light. 